Okay, we're going to do an installation of GNU plot. And uh, just rearrange this a little bit. Yeah. Going to do an installation of GNU plot. All right, so you want to start a browser. I use Firefox. You can use any browser, of course. I've been using Chrome a lot lately, but I use Firefox too there. Firefox, I have all my uh, I have all my uh, bookmarks on Firefox, not on this computer. Uh, so let's see, we want to get a good look at the title bar. Okay, what you want to do in the, uh, want to search here, uh, search the web for G-N-U-P-L-O-T, G-N-U plot. And then click the arrow so that it goes to G-N-U plot homepage, that'll do. Okay, release, the current release is 5.2.4, 5.2.4, June 2018, so, <clears throat> and uh, we don't, don't do the development version unless you're really familiar with it, just the standard one will do. All we want to do is just use the program. We don't want to develop it. So click on release 4.2.4. That'll take us to a download page. Then when it says download the latest version here in this green rectangle here. It says download latest version if you can't see it. So we'll wait till the uh, web page catches up. And then download, click on download latest version. Now, the, uh, okay, there we go. Now you see this uh, window which came up here, this dialog box, it's a dialog box, came up here, chosen to open. We want to save it. Let's save it. Would you like to save this file? Yeah, we'd like to save it. Put it in downloads. So it's downloading to the downloads folder on the computer. And uh, Firefox has a little download indicator. And it's up here in the up here, there's a little arrow, a little blue arrow, and that shows that a file is downloading. Apparently, it's already downloaded. Well, 26 megabytes, it's uh, something like one o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, so we probably would have downloaded that rapidly. Let's see, we'll leave the window open. And uh, I want to do File Explorer, the Windows Explorer. Now I have it right on my taskbar. And we want to look in the Downloads folder for uh, GNU Plot or something, something like that. I forget what the name of the program was now. We'll have to see. Oh, I think it's GP. I think it's this one right here. GP524. Yeah, that's it. Because we said it was 5.2.4. We'll 
Win 64. The only problem is this is a Win 32 machine. But uh, we'll install it. It'll say, uh, it should say whether it will install or not. So what I can do, what I, the easiest thing to do now is just double click it from here. So we'll just double click that. Publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? Yes, we want to run this software. And yes, we want to make it allow it to make changes. We're going to select English as the installation. Version is different. Design for the following. Pro okay, okay, we can't do it because this is a that's a Win64 program. So we're going to have to go back and download a uh, not-so-recent version of it. We want a 32-bit. So we'll go back to the home page. Go back to the home page. Release notes. Binaries. Previous, okay. Release 5.0.7. And, oh, wait a minute, you know what? I didn't look far enough down, okay. There may be a 32-bit version. I downloaded the 64-bit version, which we don't want. So we'll go back. I'm gonna go back to the uh, Genioplot homepage. Release 5.2.4. Now look down further, there's one, okay, 32. There's one, Win32, right there. GP524, Win32, MinGW1XA. So that's the one we want to download. No, so cancel this. We don't want to download that. We want this one. Your download will sh start shortly. Three seconds. Yes, save file. Then we get the same dialog box as before. We want to save the file. See, this is an older machine. This is a an old Dell computer running Windows 7. And uh, it won't, it's a 32-bit machine, not a 64-bit, so. Okay, so I kind of assume that that's downloaded. What we do is look at the Windows the only way to check is to look in the windows, and there it is, application. So I can delete this one. This one that's selected here, we can delete that because it doesn't work on this machine. Where's the delete key? I don't even know. Well, we'll just leave it as it is. Double click on the next one up, which is the 32-bit version. Double click on that. Publisher could not be verified, we don't care. It's, we know GNU Plot's a good program. It's not gonna hurt your computer. I have it installed on my other computer and I've been using it for years and it's fine, so. All right. That's, there we go, okay. Do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes on this computer? Yes, it's okay because, like I say, I've used this program before. Okay, again, English, we want English. You pick whatever you want. Okay, uh, the agreement. I just go down through it. I don't, this one's not that, not that long. So <clears throat> you just don't do anything that you, you, they don't want you to do, which is use it commercially, basically. Uh, and you have to use the copyright notice. If you uh, publish with it, you have to use the, you have to give uh, credit <coughs> credit to the, uh, the publisher using the software. You have to give credit to the <coughs> program writers. They're there, Thomas Williams and Colin Kelly. I accept the agreement next. 
setup, command line. To, okay, it just tells them tells about the program stuff. Okay, and we'll put it in. Uh, I'm going to browse. I don't want to put it in program files. I want to put it in program files too. I made another folder called program files two in addition to program files one. The old rule under DOS was that you didn't want to have more than 20 programs installed in your program files folder because they would run slower because every time the program had to access the executable, it would have to read through all of those files to find the right folder. So you wanted to minimize that. So I've kind of uh, gone over to that, taken that over to the newer way, even though Windows 10, uh, Windows 7 is a lot faster. I still made a pro, I made a program files two folder. So I'll double click on that. Now you can see I've already got some stuff in there, but there aren't 20 of them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight programs in there. So we're going to click, uh, Okay, and that, and then in this dialog box here, we'll click next. Uh, we want to install, the only thing we don't want really is Japanese language support. I don't need that. I don't speak Japanese, so, but that'd be useful, of course, for Japanese users. Okay, uh, it's going to require 86 megabytes of disk space. I happen to know that this computer has plenty of space left on it. It's got something like 200, meg 200 gigabytes left on it. So this is, you know, this is just a drop in the bucket, so to speak. Okay, so next, click next. Uh, different folder, no, we'll leave it in the, we want the folder to be called GNU plot. Select additional tasks you would like set up to perform while installing GNU plot. Additional shortcuts. Yeah, let's put a shortcut on the desktop. Default terminal. Uh, uh, the default terminal. I'm not sure what that means. I think it means the, it has to do with the interface that uh, GNU plot presents. And uh, I think Windows, let's go with Windows because that's, that'll give the one that's, that the reader is probably most familiar with. That, that'll start us with a regular Windows program because it is a command line program. Okay. Kokomoto, okay. Everybody, yep. There. All right. So just install. It's installing. You can see the progress bar going along. Please read the following important information before continuing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, but it really doesn't. Oops. I'm not going to try to go through that because I most of it, uh, it just talks about changes in the various versions, and uh, so we don't really need to know that, and uh, we don't want to do anything. We you could launch GNU plot at this time, but let's not launch it because I want to do something else first. We're just going to click finish. <clears throat> 